The Ministry of Defence had placed a 200 crore rupees order with the Ordnance Factory Board in 2018, for upgrading the Indian Army's 130mm towed artillery systems to 155mm. As per latest media reports, the indigenously upgraded 155mm sarang system was successfully tested yesterday, and its range has also been increased from 27 km to 39 km, and all the 300 systems will be supplied to the Indian Army by 2022. The Defence Acquisition Council has shortlisted Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders and Larsen and Tubro for the Indian Navy's P-75I submarine project, while the joint bid from Adani Defence and Hindustan Shipyard have been rejected. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders and Larsen and Tubro are allowed to partner individual foreign original equipment manufacturers to submit their final bids for manufacturing the six submarines, which includes South Korea's Duwu Shipbuilding, France's Naval Group, Spain's Nevantia, Russia's Rosbaron export, and this encrypt marine systems from Germany. The Defence Acquisition Council has given the approval for procurement of equipment worth over 5,100 crore rupees for the Indian Army, which includes sophisticated DW systems designed by DRDO and manufactured locally by the Indian industry. The Defence Acquisition Council has also approved the testing of trawl assemblies designed by the DRDO for the Army's T-72 and T-90 tanks. According to latest media reports, the Avadi Ordnance Factory in Chennai has doubled the engine manufacturing capacity for the Army's main battle tanks from 350 to 750 engines per year, and this capacity augmentation will meet the increasing demand of the Indian Army. The board chairman of Avadi Ordnance Factory also inaugurated the new flexible manufacturing system worth 148.4 crore rupees, which will help increase productivity. The top brass of the Indian Army has been watching the potential Black Hawk replacement candidates of the US Army very closely, and is studying how they can fit it in Army aviation. U.S. Army's future vertical lift medium program is expected to replace the Black Hawk and Apache helicopters in U.S. Army service, and it is still evaluating some of the pre-production candidates like the SP-1 Defiant and Bell V-280 Valor, which have emerged as the top candidates in the future vertical lift medium program. The U.S. government has already offered India to be a part of the future vertical lift medium program. The Indian Navy has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Geological Survey of India, for the sharing of products data and expertise. The Geological Survey of India has mapped most of India's 2.1 million square kilometers exclusive economic zone, and has a vast repository of offshore data, which will now be used to support the Navy's expansive maritime operations. Thank you.